Good morning, friends. Hello, hello. How are you, friends? Hope you're doing well. Hope that uh, everything is finding you in this uh, chilly last day of October and finding you uh, in uh, getting maybe all dressed up today or maybe uh, getting ready for some trick-or-treaters tonight. Uh, I hope whatever you find yourself on this Halloween doing, that uh, um, it brings you some joy and there's some goodness in it for you. So that's my hope. Hey, good morning, Yvette. How are you? Good morning, gang. Everyone's doing all right. Wait for a few folks to come along. Um, just a reminder in these days uh, as we're uh, getting ready here uh, on Thursday at 11 o'clock, we will be uh, um, lifting up Beverly Freitas, one of our dear ones here, um, and uh, committing her to the Lord. So if you are, uh, if you're here and able to, uh, to come and celebrate uh, Beverly's life with us, that would be terrific. Uh, hey, Jamie, good morning. Hola, hope you're doing well. <laughs> Walmart, you in costume. Hey, Jane and John, hello. Hope you're doing great. Hey, good morning, Kristen. Hello. I know you guys are all decked out for Halloween. I've, seen, I've been rolled by the house the other day. Looking great. I know this is your big, uh, that, that you're loving it. I hope you're having a great day and hope it's going to be a good night for you. Uh, yeah. so happy Halloween, everyone. Good morning. All right, let's get going today. It is the 31st of October, this Tuesday at 1111. And happy Halloween, everybody, that I hope this day uh, really does find you well. I'm glad that you're here and glad that you're a part of this journey and, uh, hope that uh if you are if you are uh dressing up or you're decorating that you're having a ball with it see the other thing about but the 31st is uh, halloween is not the only thing that gets celebrated on uh the 31st this is also what is called reformation day and that actually one has something to do with the other and uh and so uh, and so I, I, cause I want, I want to talk today about Halloween a little bit, and I want to talk a little bit about Reformation Day because not just because I want to geek out history wise, but you know, I always kind of want to geek out history wise. It's just a thing that I do, but more because I want, I, I think there is, there's richness in why this, we celebrate this holiday and there's richness in what it's about. Uh, there's richness in this day, and I hope that uh, that you can have some of it and maybe share in it a little bit. I think that uh, we're uh, we're in a time when we're uh, we have uh, lost a bit of the muchness of life, the richness of it, the deep connections with people around table, the joys of little children coming uh, to collect candy and trick-or-treating, the, the, this, these simple and powerful rituals of life. I'll talk about this a bit. And so I, I want us to, so I want to spend some, a little bit of moment with Halloween because there is a little bit of muchness in it, and I think we should harvest it for it. And so, uh, in 1517, uh, Martin Luther goes up to the church at, in, uh, um, in Worms and in Wurdenburg and nails his 95 Reeses. No, they're 95 Theses, though it's always good. My friend Robin at her church uh, set out nine, 95 Reeses peanut butter cups and uh, yeah, she's hilarious. Um, but so, the, and basically these 95 theses were criticisms of the church. And this act, whether he knew it or not, would be the thing that would kick off what we have come to know, be known as the Protestant Reformation. That prior to 
15, 17, there was really, uh, there was, within the West, there was the Catholic Church. In the East, there was the Orthodox Church. There were other Armenian churches and the Ethiopian churches and other, others which were largely Orthodox as well. But in the West, we had to contend with the Roman Catholic Church, and pretty much that was it. Um, now, there were some others around, but just for simplicity's sake. And it is this desire for a, a, a great swath of people to have a, a, a deeper, uh, more, uh, I, I would say, a more unadulterated kind of uh, experience uh, to look at the church of seven, 15, 17 and to see that some of its corruption and some of its, of, it, of its need for reform. And so in the beginning of that, it became the Reformation. And it, it gave birth to you know, our church and so many others. And, and I would say uh, and still maintain is a, a grand force for uh, bringing people into deeper relationship with God. And not to say that our Catholic brothers and sisters are doing it wrong. It is simply uh, the, this, this new expression that, had, that came into the world in, in 1570. All right. The thing is, is why does Luther pick do this on Halloween? Why does he do this on this day? And why, you know, why, why couldn't we just spread these things out? Well, he does it because he wants people to read what he wrote. He has 95 criticisms of the church for 95 things that need to be cleaned up. And he wants people to read them. And so he, the, the, you know, there wasn't a lot of Facebook, no social media, not a lot of Twitter. But, the, but what, was, what passed for that was actually the door of the cathedral. And so people nailed their, their announcements, nailed even legal notices. And for him, he nailed these, these uh, 95 criticisms of the church to, that needed reform, that would give way to new expressions of faith and new ways of coming into relationship with Jesus that were, uh, that were new and deeper. In all that, so why? Because there were people going to church that tomorrow is All Saints Day. We'll talk a little bit about that uh, tomorrow. But, but the fact that but on All Hallows Eve, there were people that were going to church. He posted them there, not because it was some rando Tuesday, but because it was the day that people were going to show up and go to church. That All Hallows Eve is, in fact, a Christian holiday. I have gotten over my years of ministry and over my years, and maybe you've gotten it too. The, the, and and I, I'm going to pick on everybody today a little bit. So, you know, the, our evangelical brothers and sisters who are constantly kind of trying to drum up this satanic panic around, and we're in Fall River, gang. We, we, satanic panic we got. That, you know, that, they, they got whole movies about that here. Um, that they're trying to drum up all these ideas about, well, you know, we shouldn't dress up and why are we dressing up in such ghoulish ways and why this fixation around death and all of these sorts of things. And that, 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 but the celebration of All Hallows' Eve, this, this evening before All Saints' Day, when we lift up all of those who have gone on to their reward, all of those who have died and, and are now a part of the, the communion of saints in the next life, part of the, the church triumphant as we describe them that came comes that 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 the whole entire reformation project is actually wedded to this little halloween moment because it's the time people were going to church because it's a church holiday so now but why the dressing up right why the dressing up so in 50, the first mention we have of people dressing up uh, on All Saints uh, and or on All Hallows Eve is actually on in 1585 in Scotland. God bless the Scots. They gave us the the, the act of dressing up. In uh, now and now, why is that? Now, Scotland had been Christian for about 1,200 years at this point, 1,400 years, whatever, like a long time. That so uh, that. That, uh, that it wasn't exactly that there were all these things, but there were these legacy rituals that have that had continued and could, and even still some to continue today that came from the deep uh, from the deep pagan church, 
And so there is this moment, there is this way in which what, what, what kind of finds organically its expression in the, in, in the, uh, the 16th century in Scotland is this idea of, of dressing up not as mummers, which was often the, what, how people would dress up. Basically, they'd kind of dress up like trees or like wheat stalks or something like that. Maybe you've seen them, like there's some really creepy uh, Doctor Who episodes with mummers in them and all sorts of stuff. It's kind of a very English thing to do. There's, uh, there's actually a mummers parade that happens in Philadelphia. Um, that, so this, this kind of tradition still goes on. There's, there's kind of singing and dancing with it. It's cr- particularly creepy. But it actually, it actually brings us, has its origins way, 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 way back, way, way, way back, um, you know, at least a couple thousand years, but it, deep into the pagan past. Um, so you have the, so that you have, but you still have these mummers running around, you still have these mummers running around today. And so the Christians, and which is essentially everybody in, um, begin to, begin to dress up not as mummers, but begin to dress up as little devils or as uh, other things or as demons. And they come to do so to mock the darkness. I think it is absolutely blatantly ridiculous when you walk by a uh, uh, somebody who's decorated, like you go to Kristen's house, like she is, she is on it, man. She is celebrating this holiday. I love the decoration she has at her house. You go there and you see, like it's ridiculous to think that is actually like some sort of incantation to real, like you know, kind of devil, darkness, meanness horror worship it is a caricature of it like a spooky ghost it's a caricature of the of the of actual things even the even the spookiest of characters we you know we i did the the children's talk on sunday and one of the kids was going to go be a monster she was going to be wednesday adams as a monster for halloween today one one of our kids was going to be hulk like these are not these this dressing up is not uh, uh like hey let's get you on the devil side kind of thing kids it is a rejoicing and a mocking and a and a way of saying of all of creation god's goodness and god's love and god's grace is bigger than any of the broken things we're going to find in the world. Than even the, you know, that we point and laugh even at the devil. We point and laugh even at the devil. That he who thinks he's creating, you know, this kingdom of his own where he can do cruelty, where he can do meanness, where he can do horror, we can break the world, is, has already been defeated, has already been cast down, All, is, 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 is a, a, a laughing stock of the angels and of true goodness because it's all the Lord's. Now, in a world where real brokenness is breaking out and real devils are at work, where, where we look at what's, what's unfolding in the Middle East and the amount of horror and the amount of pain you know, and I'm not on a, I'm not going to make a Palestinian comment. I'm not going to make an Israeli comment. I'm going to make a horror comment. You want to know about real devils and real horror? Real devils and real horror are unleashed in that place. And yet still, and that's why it's more important today to celebrate little kids getting dressed up and going around and, and looking for candy. That's why it's more important to hold to the fact that that darkness, that, that gnarliness actually has no sway upon us. And it actually is the, the beauty of God and the love of God that it's, it is, and the justice of God that is actually going to overcome and, and heal and bring peace and goodness to, a, to, the, to the very places where the, even the demons have broken out, where they deserve nothing more than our mocking. Than our mocking. Paul in the, in the, 
in the fourth chapter of the his letter to the church in Ephesus, he writes this. There is one body and one spirit, just as you are you are were called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all who is over all and through all and in all. Halloween is this incredible declaration of the fact that there's no darkness in life that the light will not overcome. There is no despair in which hope cannot cannot and will not be born into there is no no pitchforked and you know uh, and and uh, and horrific thing that will not and cannot be healed by the one who made us that is actually the declaration that we can dress up and and parade around in all of these gnarly and weird and beautiful and beautiful and 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 scary and bizarre costumes, and that we can we can put out skeletons on our lawn and we can watch you know watch the the dancy Disney skeletons and and in all of it we can still know that God is in His heaven and all is right with the world even when there are things breaking out that are not right even when there is injustice, even when our own hearts sometimes might be broken, even when there is difficulty. And, and so to me, my hope for this, for this day is not just that we, we enjoy the, the, the fun of it. It's not just that we get dressed up and we, and we rejoice in it. It's not just we kind of turn the tables on our normal life and normal day, but that we, we rejoice in the muchness of life, in the, in the bigness of it all, in the wonder of it all, in the, in the fact that, that even in the places where my heart is stamped down, even where the places that, that either, you know, even bitterness might be taking root, even in the places where I just don't understand and I don't get it and I don't know why that is permitted to happen. In all of these places, even in those places, God's love is supreme for there is one body and one spirit one god and father of all who is over all and through all and in all friends i hope you have a great halloween i hope you have a great reformation day i hope you have a great and wondrous time of more beauty more power, more love and grace coming into the world through the joy and the wonders and the celebrations of this day. So, you know, if any of your evangelical friends give you any trouble, send them this. If any, if you, you know, if, if, if there, if people are wringing hands and killing joy just as fast as they possibly can, send them this. Because God the Father of all, who is over all, who is through all, and who is in all, declares his love for the world through the grand reformation of the church, but also through the joys of this Halloween and maybe the 95 Reese's we're going to get. All right, friends, peace and grace to you on this day. We'll pick it up tomorrow with another. 11-11.